In this video, we'll describe how to use the Dataset Labeling Workbook. The Dataset Labeling Workbook is an Excel file you can download from the Market Site home screen and is used to label and organize Excel datasets. The work you do in the Dataset Labeling Workbook can be uploaded to your Market Site account alongside the raw data itself or it can be applied to an uploaded dataset. Let's take a look at a dataset that was uploaded into Market Site from Excel without using the Dataset Labeling Workbook. By visiting the Variables page, I can view the variables that exist in this dataset. You'll notice right away that the text in the Name column is identical to what's in the Code column. Also, some of the values for each variable are unnamed and in other cases may be disorganized. Let's go back to the home page and click the link for the Dataset Labeling Workbook in the left column. A download will start and the file can be opened in Microsoft Excel. The document consists of three sheets, which should not be deleted or renamed. Work will be done in the Labels sheet. The instructions and examples are provided for reference. Our goal here is to rename the variables and their values so they are displayed in a readable and understandable format within MarketSite. I'll open a dataset labeling workbook I've already started for this dataset. In the first column, I've entered the variable code for my first variable. The variable code resp ID is the text from the header row or row one in my original Excel data file. In the variable name column, I've added a name I'd like MarketSite to use for this variable. This should be something intuitive and easily understandable. For text-based or mixed character data types, like an ID, you won't need to specify the codes and names for each of the variable's values. I've left the next two columns blank. The next variable I want to rename in my raw dataset is RECO B01. This was a question that asked individuals if they would recommend a service, with choices ranging from definitely would recommend to definitely would not recommend. The raw data only shows the numeric values. If this was uploaded to market site as is, I wouldn't know which value is top or bottom. In the dataset labeling workbook, I can address this issue by labeling these values. I've entered the original variable code, RECO B01, and a new variable name in the first two columns. The value codes for the possible options in my raw data are entered alongside clear names. Notice how when renaming the different values for a variable, I do not need to repeat the entries for column A, the variable code, or column B, the variable name, until I move on to the next variable. I can repeat the same process for recommend B and C. I've made similar changes for the values of the next variable, age, by naming each of the age groups a respondent could choose. Notice how value code 8 is being renamed to NA for respondents who declined to answer this question. You can specify any missing values such as don't know or did not answer by entering the corresponding value code in column G. You can also create a range of values by using a hyphen. You can include up to three value codes. The next set of variables in my raw data includes yes or no questions asking if a respondent's cell phone has a particular feature. Only yes answers are shown in my data set, which are marked with a one. I followed the same renaming steps to apply a new name to these variables and indicated that a value code one equals yes. Since the survey doesn't allow for a no answer, a second line for this variable isn't necessary. The last two variables in the dataset are open-ended questions. For these variable types, I've added a new variable name and code as previously described and left the value code and name blank. I've now made all the changes I'm going to apply to the original variables in my raw data. However, the Dataset Labeling Workbook provides a few other time-saving features. Column E is where I can specify a category for each variable. This step is optional, but is recommended. Variables can only belong to one category. By typing clear, you can move the variable back to the default uncategorized category. Column F provides room to enter a description for each variable. This is an ideal place for the question text. The last two columns relate to multiple response variables, or MRVs, 
which allow you to group related variables together. By using the dataset labeling workbook, I can create these new variables now and save a step later. You can see here I've added the code and name for a new variable I'd like to create. Column H is where I indicate the codes for the existing variables this new variable is based on. Column I shows which value should be counted in the new MRV, in this case, 1. You can also type all in this column if any choice from the predecessor variable should be counted in the MRV. At this point, we've entered all the labeling information for this dataset, so we'll save our workbook and go back to the datasets tab in MarketSite. Right-click on the dataset in the left-hand menu and click Properties. Near the middle of the screen, you'll find a section that says Replace Dataset Labels File. Click Select and browse your hard drive for the Excel file we were working on. Click Open when you're done. I should also mention that you can include the dataset labeling workbook with your raw data during your initial data upload. When uploading a new dataset, there are two select buttons in the new dataset window. One for you to select your data file and one for you to select the dataset labels or metadata file. This will allow you to upload your data and labeling scheme in one step. Let's continue and apply this labeling file to the dataset we have already uploaded to MarketSite. Let's click OK to proceed. Upon completion, I can select the dataset from the datasets page and click the variables tab to view the updated information. You'll notice the variables are now reordered based on the categories I created, with uncategorized variables placed at the bottom. The recommend variables I edited now have consistent values and their ordering is logical. We can also see the MRV is in the same category as its predecessor variables. Using the dataset labeling workbook is optional, but for MarketSite users who often use Excel, this is a highly recommended workflow. Uploading your data files alongside a customized dataset labeling workbook helps keep your dataset organized and allows you to start analyzing your data in MarketSite as quickly as possible upon upload. Thanks for watching.